Hey guys, Sophia here with turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and I'm back with another video. Today we're talking about the 2022 IFBB Pro League Janet Leg Battle of the Bodies Pro Bikini and Pro Masters Bikini results. So impressive seeing the two different age divisions and just how amazing these athletes are. It is really inspiring. And as a reminder, we've got a big weekend coming up. We've got the Arnold UK. Oh my gosh, I've got my prediction video up. Make sure you check it out. Um, there's also the San Antonio Pro this weekend, so make sure you subscribe. I will be back with recaps of those as soon as I can. Now, in terms of Olympia, this Battle of the Bodies is considered a Tier 4 contest. So the winner qualifies, second through fifth receive the points at the bottom, and then at the end of the qualification period, the top three in the Open category, so not the Masters, just the Open, all get to go to Olympia. So beginning with Pro Open Bikini. In first place, India. Second, Brittany. Third, Alessia. Fourth, Maya. And fifth, Erin. So Erin in fifth looks incredible. We just saw her at the Savannah Pro and I love her hourglass shape. I think she does an amazing job of curving her back, showing off her lats. She's got a lot of space in between this part of her lat and the top of her glute. So she looks really open. You really see that curve and I think it looks spectacular. Her conditioning is beautiful. I love the line coming down her hip. I think she's got a great outline of her quads. Really a small and flat stomach, uh, great oblique, and just gorgeous shoulders too. So I think she has a really amazing shape. I think she could have a little bit more size on the top of her glute up here. I think particularly when we go to our next competitor, you'll see um, what I mean about a little bit more fullness on the top, but overall I'm super impressed and I think she stands out because of her beautiful S curve. Uh, great makeup, great suit, great tan. She looks just gorgeous. Okay, Maya in fourth place. See what I mean about a really round and full glute? How amazing is her shape? Her glutes are really good. I love how full they are all the way from the strap of her suit. Just so round, absolutely gorgeous. She's got a great oblique, nice hourglass shape as well, though I don't feel like you have as much space. Like you don't see the curve as well as you did on um, our fifth place winner, she's just a little bit more condensed. And I think what might help would be if she raised her hand. I think this is way too low. It's down on her hip bone and it should be a little bit closer to her belly button. I think that would just give the appearance of more happening up high. It would raise your eye up. The elbow would be higher. There'd be just a little bit more activity up here. And I think it would just create a little bit more of that hourglass shape. I know it doesn't seem like where the backhand is makes a difference, but I think it could. So that's kind of something that I'm thinking for her. But I think she's got absolutely beautiful conditioning. I love all of this detail coming through on her back leg. I think her shoulders have a gorgeous round shape. Her makeup is stunning. I cannot stop looking at her beautiful eyeshadow. Her suit is a lovely lavender purple color. Like she looks absolutely gorgeous. Just a little bit more tweaking with the posing and I think she will be amazing. Okay, Alessia in third place. There are too many Alessias. I'm running out of room. <coughs> Excuse me. She has been in the top five so many times this qualification period and always looks incredible. But, you know, in my last video... I talked about her posing and how the angles make such a difference and this I think is a perfect example because where the photographer is, the way she's standing, I think with a little bit more of a 45 degree angle, angle in her torso, her waist looks so small here. Whereas at the Sasquatch, we saw more of her stomach and you still got an amazing curve to her back, but I just think her waist looks so small. So I really like the way that she's standing here. Um, her legs are always consistently the same. Just a gorgeous, great conditioning, great lines. Um, really nice detail coming through on the back leg. 
just absolutely amazing. She's so beautiful. Here's a little bit closer up. And the other thing that I'm noticing about Alessia is she's got both hardness and softness at the same time. So she's not the most ripped looking. She's not the most vascular. She's not the most six pack abs showing through. Um, but she always has this gorgeous line. She always has super defined obliques. She's got a nice shape with her delts. So she's got like this hardness, but also beautiful fullness in her quads, great size and shape to the curviness of the back of her legs. So she just does a really great job. Um, I'm starting to notice more every time I see her in the lineup that the size of the girls is maybe a little bit more round in the quads. Like I think her back leg could have a little bit more size, um, maybe a little bit more in the shoulders. But overall, I think she's absolutely stunningly gorgeous. Great suit color. It's perfect on her. Beautiful makeup, beautiful hair. Okay, Brittany in second place. Wow. So she already, just from going from Alessia to Brittany, looks a lot more athletic. She looks harder. Her conditioning is more visible. You see more lines. You see more grooves. You see more veins. You see more curves in her arms. I love it. I think Brittany looks amazing. Super athletic. I think I, I I really like all of this detail that's coming through on her arms. Really nice shape and curviness. It's not just a straight line. You got the round delt. You got beautiful muscles in her arms. She's got amazing hamstrings. Absolutely awesome. I love this roundness. Great curve. Great curve in her glute. She's awesome. I really like this kind of a look. It's a little bit harder, a um, little bit more muscle, a little bit more curve. I like this kind of quad sweep we've got going on in the back. I think she looks awesome. Again, I think the hand could be a little bit higher, uh, just a little bit. She's pretty close. Just to make this elbow stick out a bit more, make her upper body a bit more pumped up, a little bit more... Um, pulled up in the ribs, twisted out with the shoulders just to make that upper body look more deliberate. But man, she's gorgeous. Beautiful hair, beautiful suit. Love the color, of course. And I think she looks amazingly delicate on this foot, even though she's super muscular. So she just, she's doing a great job. Okay, and now India in first place. Man, you guys, I think about India back in the day in her yellow suit and what a transformation she's made. And she just looks incredible. I, I can't get over it. Her posing is amazing. And even show by show, it, it from Wasatch to now, she looks so good. Really opening up her shoulders, showing off the lat, making this S curve so exaggerated. The glute really comes out far from her body. So this curve is just so sensational. Her conditioning is beautiful. There's something so glossy and shiny about all of her muscles, right? Like you're just seeing the most beautiful fullness curves. Her calves look great. Her, I love this detail in her hip. She's got beautiful curves in her arms. But she's still got like a fullness. So even though she's got amazing conditioning to show off the obliques, the curve, the detail in the quad, she still has like this roundness and the muscles just look pumped up and full and round. So I, I don't know. She's just really gorgeous. She's posing beautifully with her feet, really showing off this back leg. I love the smile. I love her hair, everything. She's just sensational. Okay, so everybody's side by side. Erin stands out to me because of her curve. I think her S curve, that hourglass shape is amazing. But I do think you can see what I mean about needing a little bit more size on the side of the glute here. Alessia beside her, statuesque, gorgeous posing, beautiful conditioning, nice line. But I do think she's starting to need a little bit more size in the arms, even in the glute top of the quad, right? Compare her to Aaron next to her. 
Um, Brittany, I think, is a little bit closed. I think, like I said, this hand could go up. Maybe this foot could even come out a little bit. Um, but I love the amount of muscle she has. I think she's got gorgeous shoulders. That Those hamstrings, come on. Um, my, Maya in fourth. Amazing. That glute is just so good. But again, I think the arm could come, the hand could come just a little bit higher. And wow, what a curve she has. Just gorgeous. But now when I look at India... She's just, she's petite. She's posing perfectly. G gorgeous curves um, in the elbow here, really holding her hand in a nice position. You really notice this curve in her back. You notice the conditioning. You notice the quad. She looks lovely, but she looks particularly good from behind. Okay, so everybody from behind. Oh my gosh. So India has really nice roundness to the outsides of her glutes, but she also has really good prominent tie-ins and then a nice sweep both on the outside and the inside of her legs. Super small waist from behind and what a crazy big hourglass. So it's like a V taper, right? Like really wide. The delts come super far and really narrow on the inside. So I think that helps a lot with her coming into first place. It's just this beautiful shape she has from behind. If we look, for example, at Erin, um, I don't think the hair is quite right. I think she needs a little bit more. The The triangular shape is perfect, but there's it's a little bit too falling right down the middle. I think she needs a little bit more hair kind of filling in some of this area. Because when I look at Erin, I see a little bit more of a rectangular shape. Whereas with India, I see that triangle. Um, Maya, I noticed, is a lot more narrow in her glutes. She's got amazing definition here at the bottom and beautiful sweep, but she doesn't quite have the roundness coming out on the sides and the fullness. So it just kind of shows you the differences in the shapes and how from behind it really matters how you still get that hourglass. I think Brittany has beautiful legs, nice small waist, but she doesn't quite have the same degree of that hourglass figure as India. Uh, Alessia, I think maybe just a tad too much hair still, just if she could just get a little bit off like here and here, that would be amazing. <laughs> um, but beautiful glutes, really nice hamstrings. This was an amazing top five. Okay, so in terms of Olympia, India's qualified, Brittany has four, Alessia was already qualified, Maya has two, and Erin, I think she should have been at two. So with the one point from the show, I believe she should be at three. Okay, so let's move on to Masters 40 plus. So these ladies don't qualify for Olympia, but they qualify for bragging rights because this is so impressive. In first place, Misty, second, Eng Swan, third, Casey, fourth, Bonnie, and fifth, Karina. So Karina in fifth is like perfection in her silhouette. She has it completely nailed. Beautiful round delts, amazing lats, insanely small waist with this ridiculous curve, gorgeous round glutes and beautiful hamstrings and then even even her calves have a nice curve it's like she really got the shape perfect um she's posing beautifully showing off the back leg nice showing off a little bit of the detail in this front leg so i think her silhouette is amazing the suit color is perfect her hair her makeup all of that just the conditioning I think it could have been a little bit harder, a little bit more detail coming through on the back leg, a little bit more of that flatness in the abs to really look lean, a tiny bit more definition coming through on the delts. I think she would have been absolutely phenomenal, but her shape is like the absolute definition to me of bikini. It's curvy, it's round, it's full, it's gorgeous. Okay, next in fourth place is Bonnie, who we are seeing over and over in the top five in this qualification period. She's doing amazing. And the first thing that I notice is how her posing is improving. I think by having a little bit more of the torso showing, a little bit less sideways, like at the Charlotte, she's a little bit more of a 45 degree. I think it is super flattering, not only to the curve in her back and that S 
shape, but it also makes her waist look really small and it makes her tummy look a lot more flat. There's just a little bit more curves here. Here, incredible. So I think she's doing a great job with the posing. Um, I think her conditioning is really good. You see some beautiful oblique, not too much rib, but nice line in her tummy. Uh, great lines here on her legs beautiful little bit of detail here on her hip like she just looks really good I think her delts are really nice she's got a good balance between the top and the lower part of her body perhaps she could have a little bit more size here as well in this upper part of her glute it's a it's got a bit of a slope whereas I wouldn't mind seeing a little bit more of a curve <laughs> but overall man she's got a beautiful uh, way of positioning her feet I like this a little bit more space than what you saw here like just overall getting better and better every show and I think she looks amazing all right Casey in third gorgeous super tall long legs a nice amount of muscle she's got some good size in her hamstrings great size in her glutes beautiful full quad really really nice um i do think her posing could be a little bit more pumped up and deliberate looking i think she's a little too upright too standing straight um i want to see this shoulder more towards the front so that this shoulder gets pushed more towards the side and the back and then we really can notice her hourglass shape she could for sure have a bit more glute as well just to really round out that s curve um but i think mostly it's a it's a posing thing i think if she could just twist a little bit more then she would come across as even more curvy now her conditioning is beautiful really nice line and detail in her quad and yet still round and full in the front a little bit of detail coming through here perfect obliques nice small waist with a flat tummy like she looks really good beautiful makeup great big smile nice jewelry um so i think she looks really amazing Okay, Aang Swan in second place, fantastic. Her midsection is amazing, really tight, really flat and toned, great obliques. Um, and then she's got beautiful arms as well. So she's got a really nice amount of muscle. I think she's got this nice little tight, toned, athletic looking package, very muscular, um, but still very small and tiny and very uh, beautiful. So she's got a great lat, nice small waist, amazing oblique, nice size to her glute. I think she's posing really well, even better again than at the max fit. I think you're seeing a really good shape in her silhouette. Nice gloss showing off all of this beautiful conditioning. Um, she's got even more detail coming through on this back leg than we've seen before in her other top five finishes. So perhaps a little tighter with the conditioning or perhaps just different lighting. You never know. But overall, I think she looks beautiful. Love the purple suit. Um, really spectacular. I do think she could have a little tiny bit more space between her feet and maybe even be more on the toe and less um, flat on this foot. I know, I know she's up a little bit on the toe, but I would go even more. Exaggerate it. All right. And now in first place is Misty. Beautiful. Uh, first of all, I love her suit. I love this rich royal purple. There's no pink in it. There's not very much blue. It's just a beautiful dark purple and it looks perfect with the backdrop. Um, I also love her posing. I think her feet are perfect. I love when the top of the foot is really arched and you have such a beautiful shape to this back leg. Um, she's doing a great job of showing off her glute and the curve in her hamstring. You really notice the S curve and the hourglass shape. Her hand is up high enough that it's drawing the eye up and really opening up her upper body. Like I think her posing looks really good. Maybe a tiny bit more like puffed up in the ribs to really kind of pull them forward but overall super impressed she's got a great shape her abs are amazing you've got muscle showing through with the lines coming so a bit of a six-pack really firm and beautifully full oblique with that super chiseled line nice detail coming through like she really nailed it I think she's got a really great package 
Now, side by side, I'm drawn to Karina. I think she does a fantastic job showing off her silhouette. Her posing is beautiful. You really notice the hourglass shape. I think Bonnie, um, maybe she just wasn't quite in the pose yet, but for sure she needs to open up um, and let this arm fall behind the glutes so nothing is crossed in front. Um, Misty is doing a really nice job with the posing as well. I think with Casey in between, it does show you what I mean about she's a little bit more upright. You don't quite catch that curve like you do with Karina, for example. Um, Eng, I think, looks really beautiful as well. It was really super lean. She could have perhaps a little bit more size in the glute, but oh, so good. But now from behind... This is where things change. So even though I really was loving Karina from the front, I don't think she quite has the conditioning from behind to show off her beautiful muscles. So <clears throat> she's got a nice roundness, nice fullness, beautiful size. <clears throat> But we're not quite getting the tie-ins like we see with Misty or Eng. Um, a little bit more definition in the hamstrings. And man, what an hourglass we're seeing here on Misty. Beautiful, small, tiny waist and great delts from behind. Or just a fantastic shape. Uh, I love her hair. It's perfect. It's the exact shape you want. Triangular, but not too narrow, not too thin. Looks amazing. Uh, Bonnie, I think, has some nice size. She just needs a little bit more of that tie-in to come down into the hamstrings. Um, Casey, I think, has some amazing delts from behind. Uh, but again, she could have a little bit more of the tie-in showing too. Just gorgeous. What a fabulous top five. And now Masters 50 plus. We had four competitors. So in first was Aang Swan, second Bonnie, third Veronica, and fourth Pamela. So here's Pamela. Are you kidding me? She looks absolutely amazing. She, uh, just gorgeous. And again, what I'm noticing is the improvements in the posing. She's just getting better and better. This foot is coming off. It's a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more delicate, a little bit more space in between. Um, so it's showing off this back leg. I like that she's a little bit more twisted. So there's a lot, a, a little bit more space between where the arm is falling and the glute. So there's nothing overlapping. You really get a good view of her S curve and she's got an amazing curve. She's got unreal obliques, really nice overall muscle tone. I think she looks awesome. Um, I do love that she's raising her hand closer to her belly button. I think that looks much better, right? Like when it's too low, the arm is too straight. When it's nice and high, there's a good bend. It draws your eye up towards the chest, towards the ribs, towards the face. It's very flattering. Um, however, I do notice that she stands a little bit crooked like with a lean this back shoulder is higher than the front shoulder and I'm noticing it all the way across so I think if she could just work on pulling this part of her body up so that the shoulders are level I think she would look absolutely incredible all right and now Veronica in third stop it with this leanness oh my gosh her midsection is insane so flat so small. What fantastic conditioning. She is awesome. Low body fat for sure. Um, and you got some nice detail coming through in her quads. Beautiful shape. Nice hamstring. Um, I'm so impressed by how tiny her waist is. Now, I do think she is standing a little too much to the front. So if she could be a little bit more sideways, I think we'd see the the glute a little bit better and see the curve a little bit more. Right now we're seeing both of the shoulders too much. So this shoulder could go back more, <laughs> uh, just a little bit more of a 45 degree angle. But overall, super impressed. Um, she looks teeny tiny and just amazing. All right. And now Bonnie in second, who we've already seen, and Aang Swan in first, who we've already seen. 
side by side. Amazing. I'm drawn to Pamela. I think her um, hourglass shape looks really good. Uh, Veronica, that tiny midsection looks amazing. Maybe she could have a little bit more size though in her upper body, a little bit more in her quads. Bonnie, I think, has beautiful balance in her shoulders. Um, the, the shoulders are balanced beautifully with her lower body. Really nice upper and lower balance is what I'm trying to say here. She, she's got a gorgeous shape. Uh, again, with the posing, I think she needs to just twist a little bit more, get this hand away from the glute. Um, Eng, I think, has really nice detail coming through in her arms. You notice how muscular she is. Um, she looks athletic. She's still got the curve. She's still got some softness. So it was beautiful. And then from behind, Eng, I think, takes it because of the conditioning and how good her glute ham tie-ins show off. You don't quite see them on Veronica. I think Pamela needs a little bit more of the tie-ins coming through. Bonnie's got them, but they're just not quite in the same kind of really visible triangular shape. Um, and man, does she ever come and have a beautiful hourglass from behind. Her waist looks super tiny and her delts look really large. Uh, I think Bonnie did a great job beside her in second place, but Aang really kind of takes it with that conditioning and that amazing shape. So there you have it. That is my recap. And coming up is the Arnold. I'm so excited. Make sure you check out my prediction video and let me know who you guys think is going to win. So exciting. And then, of course, the San Antonio too. So make sure you subscribe. I'll be back with those recaps as soon as I can. Give me a like if you like this video. Comment below with what you thought of these beautiful bikini athletes. And come find me. I'm at turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com. And, of course, on Instagram at turquoisetoffee.